What's up guys, Trail here, better known as Budget Bill, and this is your second stimulus check update and stimulus package update for Friday, October the 30th. It's the last day of the week and I hope all of you have an amazing day today. Today we want to talk about the status of the second stimulus package negotiations as we thought that they were being put on hold as Congress failed to strike a deal before the last week's deadline. Well, it appears that there are still some discussions going on regarding the current stimulus proposal that's on the table. That's our topic for today, but before we get started, be sure to like this video if you like this type of content. It definitely helps out a lot as it takes a lot of time to research this information and provide a scaled down version for you guys. Also, if you want to be a part of this community, we would love to have you. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be notified of each new video that I upload. And if you want an opportunity to get two free stocks worth up to $1,600, all you have to do is download the Webull Investing app using the link down below. Then deposit $100 into your account. Now those two free stocks will be worth a minimum of $8 each and up to $1,600. If you do decide to join, let me know down below in the comment section on which free stocks that you actually received. In addition, if you think that Congress should get off their pass this stimulus bill before election day and send you your stimulus checks right after that, then go ahead and smash that like button and let's try to get this video to 500 likes before the day is over. Hey guys, now we all know that the stimulus negotiations have been put on hold or pause until after the election. We found out that earlier this week that President Trump and the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi both stated that striking a relief package before election day is highly unlikely. But it appears that there are still some negotiations, or lack thereof, that's actually occurring. It appears that Nancy Pelosi was still urging the Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin on Wednesday about responding to the request regarding the stimulus proposal language. And then we also know that Pelosi issued a letter to her Democratic colleagues on Tuesday detailing how the Trump administration has failed miserably in regards to fighting the pandemic and that the administration has removed itself from working towards controlling or killing the virus. In return, President Trump fired back at Pelosi accusing her of stalling and trying to get relief funding for poorly ran Democratic states and how Nancy Pelosi doesn't care about the American people and she is just stalling for more money for unrelated COVID issues. Well, on Thursday, Pelosi wrote a letter to the main person she has been on communication with for the past several months, and that is Secretary Steven Mnuchin. Now, in her letter, she addresses the issue of the United States hitting the milestone of 9 million virus cases, 250,000 deaths, 8 million people being pushed into poverty, 7 million children that going without food, and over 23 million people that are on unemployment. All of those things is what she prefaced in the letter to Steven Mnuchin. Now, the main purpose of this letter was to address the language and the concerns from the current stimulus package that was on the table prior to the announcement of a deal before the election day. Pelosi stated that she is still waiting for a response from the Trump administration's promised responses on multiple items of critical importance. She said that the White House agreed to accept the testing, tracing, and the treatment language and respond back to Pelosi's office within one week. Well, it's been more than a week and Pelosi is stating that they are still waiting for a response to the following issues. And those issues are the state and local government funding, uh, funding for safe schools, uh, funding for child care and tax credits for working families and funding for the unemployment insurance and also the OSHA and liability funding. Now, Nancy says that their responses are critical to the negotiations to continue further. And she reminded him how the American people are suffering and that they want Congress to come to an agreement to save lives, livelihoods and the life of our American democracy as soon as possible. 
But you know what? Is this just politics that we are reading in this letter? Because we know that the White House has already compromised on several things and made a few offers to Nancy in which Nancy refuses to accept any of the previous deals that they have put on the table. This is why so many Democrats have been getting frustrated with Nancy Pelosi because she continues to talk about the American people suffering, but she is holding the pause button on passing the $1.9 trillion offer that is currently on the table by the White House administration. But on the other hand, Nancy is blaming Mitch McConnell for holding the pause button as he has urged the Senate not to strike a stimulus deal before the election. So from what all that we can see, both parties are the main holdup. And that's why we all need to get out and vote for a new group of politicians to represent this country. The current ones are unable to compromise with each other in a meaningful time period. It doesn't take five months to negotiate a stimulus deal when it only took about one to two weeks to get the CARES Act bill signed into legislation back in March. And then, in response to Nancy Pelosi's letter, Stephen Mnuchin decided to respond with a letter of his own in return to Nancy Pelosi. So now, we've got both of these two lovebirds writing each other letters. Mnuchin responded first by saying that he learned of Pelosi's letter to him about the stimulus talks from the press. He said that the letter wasn't even sent to him first and that Nancy Pelosi released this letter to the team at the same time she released it to the public. Mnuchin said that he woke up this morning and read the letter in the press, not from what she actually sent directly to him. But he decided to respond at first on Twitter. And on Twitter, he stated that I woke up this morning and read Speaker Pelosi's letter to me in the press. Enclosed is my response. Her all or none approaches hurting hardworking Americans who need help right now. Now, in the response from Mnuchin, he accused Nancy Pelosi releasing this letter publicly as a political stunt and claimed it to be inaccurately described as the state of the negotiations between the two of them. Mnuchin further claimed that the Trump administration accepted Pelosi's proposal on dollars and language for virus testing and they have provided feedback on the section of contact tracing. And he goes on to say that he has already worked with other agencies and committee chairs on responses on several areas of virus relief funding for rental assistance, small businesses, and funding for the postal service. Now this part gets a little tricky and you have to be careful when politicians talk because his statement was that he has worked with agencies on responses. He doesn't necessarily say whether they responded to Pelosi or not. So we don't know how accurate this part of this letter is. Nevertheless, he went on to say that while you accuse the administration of holding up negotiations, you refuse to bring the floor of the house a standalone legislation bill to support airline workers, additional paycheck protection program payments to small businesses, and additional direct payments that we can fund using the already approved money that we have not spent. Mnuchin said that your all or none approach is hurting hardworking Americans who need help right now. So with these two no longer speaking every day on the progress of a stimulus package deal, it appears that they are now blaming one another and posting their differences in the media. That can never be good once it hits the media outlets. This is going to cause issues after the election when it's time to come back to the table and restart the negotiation talks. The left and the right sides have been in a disagreement on a price tag for a second stimulus deal and where the money should be allotted for several months now. The White House has offered around $1.9 trillion and the Democrats have requested $2.2 trillion. Now the question is, will both sides be able to bridge the gap sometime after the election and strike a deal before the end of the year? As the U.S. virus cases continue to go in the wrong direction as cases increase, President Trump promised on Tuesday that after the election, we'll get the best stimulus package you've ever seen. And with that being said, what do you guys think about Pelosi and Mnuchin exchanging letters four days before election day? I mean, it seems like it's about to start getting heated up between the two, which we definitely don't need that as these are the only option to striking a stimulus deal before the end of the year. Let me know your thoughts on how all of this will turn out. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear your feedback.
But that's all I have for you today. If you enjoy or find value in these type of videos, please give it a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of it. Other than that, hey, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.